Hey, Chef Brian here from the Gooder Cooking Show at Merry Man Herbs. As always, we're here at Merry Man Herbs, and as always, behind the camera is that guy, whatever that guy. Hello, guy. Shut up. Okay. Hey. Got him. We used this product when we were at the Southern Command, Alan. Do you remember? Yep. What did we use? The peach hot sauce. Peach hot sauce. Now my favorite. We are going to spice up your life with some chicken. Here you go. You ready? I want it. So I got some chicken. It's got some gooder on it, right? And that's right, folks. We cook here at the Gooder Cooking Show. None of this phony baloney back of the house. Somebody else does the work. Here it is. So we've got some chicken tenders going in. Should we tell everybody where we got them from, Alan? Uh, no. Okay. We got them from NASA. We got them from NASA? Are they like moon chickens? Yes. Do they sell moon chicken at Aldi? I wish they did. Well, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So in goes... Freezer dried chicken. Oh boy. So in goes our chicken, right? Yeah. So it's into a hot pan. Turn it back on my camera. So I've got the chicken and some hot liquid margarine. Got some gooder seasoning going on. It's got on a it's a, more of a medium fire. I didn't want a really hot fire for this one. Because I wanted to cook not super fast but not super slow because then it becomes a poaching method. This is more of a bit of a pan fry, but what we're gonna do is the drippings that are in the bottom of the skillet are all gonna turn into our sauce and we're gonna make everything right here, folks. So, we're gonna flip those chicken tenders over. They're already right. starting to cook up beautifully for us, right? Remember when you saute, folks, you don't wanna over overcrowd your skillet. You want things to be able to move around and jump around. The definition of a true saute is a small amount of fat, a very hot fire, and it's too jump. You want it to be able to move around. See how they're moving around real nice? That's what you want to make sure that you're doing. And we're going to prepare this entire meal for your family in this one skillet right now. So, I've got, what do I got here? I've got a few asparagus spears. I'm going to throw right down there in the middle. Right? I got a little bit of sugar snap peas. We'll throw in there. Put and then I got potatoes. some carrots. Huh? Put some potatoes in there. Put some potatoes in there? Yeah. You want, you want some potatoes in there too, boy? I want them. All right. We'll throw, we'll throw a couple of potatoes in there. Right? So we've got all that in there and it's cooking away. Everything's happy. Everything's happening. Everything's coming together. He is making it happen. He is cooking away, right? Here it comes. Yes. Man, that is just the absolute best stuff. And it's, it's it says hot sauce, but as you smell it, it doesn't give you that, whoa, you've got that beautiful peach on there. So what are we going to do? We're going to add a fairly generous amount in there, right? Because we don't want to be, you know, kind of... Don't be, be Don't be limping into that. I'm going to add a little bit more liquid margarine because we need a little bit of fat in there. We don't want to be limping into this, right? We want to make sure that we're good to go all the way through. Oh, this is, this is turning out beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Cooking up lovely. Everything is coming together. Exactly, you've got your vegetables in there. There's a little bit of starch in there. Everything is in one skillet because you know my uh, intolerance for washing dishes. I absolutely hate it. Now, yeah. here we go. Here's where we're going to have some fun, folks. So the hot sauce is in there, right, Alan? Yes, sir. The seasoning's in there, right, Alan? Yes, sir. You got a little bit of liquid margarine in there, right, Alan? Yes, sir. So you've got all the different components to finish off to make the sauce. Now we're going to finish off the sauce. Some of our Winking Owl California Moscato. Don't tell Mrs. Pear we're cooking with it because she'll beat us up because she likes to drink this stuff. Remember, whenever you cook with alcohol, folks, try to remember to take your skillet away from the fire. Or there will be more fire. A couple turns of Moscato in there. And we're going to put that back on there to cook down and reduce. What's going to happen is, on the outside of the grate, the skin, inside of that skin of the grate, is a chemical called tannin. And what happens is, is 
when the tannin is made and it's in the wine and it's in, in, in now in the sauce, as it reduces, that tannin, as it reduces, will help to hold things together and help to emulsify and make a sauce right in our skillet. All right, so it's all in there now. It's all cooking away, coming together, getting happy. We got our chicken in there. We haven't done anything. Hey, we haven't done anything have besides cook this chicken right here in, in the skillet, right, Alan? Yeah. Yeah, it's all been right here, right? We got our little vegetables in there. Now, Alan, what's the, here's the question. Uh -huh. In all the shows that we've done, all right. what is the internal temperature of chicken that I'm looking for to make sure that nobody would get sick from chicken? Uh, 160 to 185. 165, not bad. 165 at the bone is what you're looking for for the proper internal temperature of chicken. Now you say, well, why is that important, Chef? Because you don't want salmonella. Salmonella is not a flavor enhancer. It doesn't make your food gooder. It's not fun. It, no, it's not. It'll give you the... We're gonna stop right there. <laughs> it's a family operation, right? So everything's cooking away. Everything's coming together. I've got my vegetables in there, folks. I've got a little bit of potato in there to make up a little bit of a, a full meal. Yummy. Hey, and remember too, when you're doing things of this sort, you're cooking right now, you've got to maybe have a little bit of Maybe you don't want any rice. Maybe this is your dinner. Maybe you have this with some salad greens or something. Make sure you cook a little something extra for yourself when you do this, and then you can take it for lunch for the next day. Oh, that would be killer with rice. Exactly. Or maybe even an all rotten potato, yeah. or a baked potato, or a baked sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So all of those different things. But here's the beauty of this, folks: is we're not working, we're not working that hard. Everything's everything's happening in the skillet. But look at that beautiful sauce is coming together. The chicken's coming through. That literally, the chicken. What's happening is is the chicken is is absorbing all of those beautiful flavors from that peach hot sauce and from the wine, and it's cooking down, and it's actually boiling. Remember, anything of this sort boils at 212 degrees, and we're gonna have our finished and complete sauce here when it's done. It's probably got another couple minutes, but what could you do now? This would be a perfect place to sprinkle in a little bit of couscous, mm -hmm. right? You could throw in, well, who's to say you wouldn't even throw in a little bit of instant mashed potato and then the mashed Ooh. potato would absorb the flavor of the sauce. Now, I'm not talking a lot, I'm just talking a little sprinkle, but then what would happen is the mashed potato would actually help to thicken the sauce as well. Yeah, so it becomes kind of more of like a soup type of thing. Well, the sauce would have some structure to it and everything, right? Yeah. And that's what you're looking for. So, are we ready, Alan? Yeah, here's, I'm hungry. So here we go, folks. Here's what I got. I got a piece of chicken. I got a piece of chicken. Will you stuck on my fork? There you go. I got a piece of chicken. I got a piece of chicken. Gotta make it look pretty too. A little bit of vegetable on it. And remember, if you were cooking this and it's not quite done for you, remember you can always put the skillet, if it's got metal handles on it, you could put the skillet right into the oven and finish cooking everything right in the oven. But look what I got, folks. I got all these little fun vegetables cut here. I got a peach, hot sauce, sauteed chicken with some cut vegetables and a little bit of margarine and some white wine. Simple, quick dinner. Brought to you from Mary Manners and the Gooder Cooking Show. That's quick, that easy, and that's how we do it. Hey, remember, cooking gooder will bring the love out in your food. Always, always remember, think a veteran because that's why we get to have these fun shows. And please respect the blue line. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye now.